We work in elementary schools basically to inspire students. We go into elementary school classrooms as scientists and not only we have developed modules, hands-on type of activities that the students can participate in and reinforce what they learn in, in school, but we also have contact with them in the sense that we are there as scientists. They're getting to know a scientist. They're realizing that scientists come in all different ages and gender and colors and they begin to get an idea of I could also be a scientist. They say that 90% of the careers so far haven't even been invented yet and so I feel like we just need to prepare kids with an arsenal of experiences, lots of scientific and engineering practices so that no matter what career is out there, you know, 20 years from now they're prepared for it and just know how to be good well-rounded thinkers. Being able to meet people who are working in, in science and engineering fields. That's one thing. And being able to meet a diversity of people who, are, who look different from one another and who are doing different kinds of work. And then there's the opportunity to have the hands-on science experiences that they have with the CAER people who come in. So being able to build motors and batteries and to you know, take things apart, look at the insides of things, get into the nitty-gritty of the, the science content in ways that are accessible to students. I think my favorite part was like when I came in and I was like, oh, a female, it's a girl. I think that was my, like, I kind of, ooh, like, it was like, ooh, I like that. Of course, the kids I was around, they were really cool. They were really talkative and really engaging. I like that because they, they showed that they wanted to be there. When I came to Kentucky, I wanted to be involved in something that would allow me to also work with kids, educating kids. I knew that it was something I wanted to do and inspire children and especially with young girls to get involved in STEM areas. And when we were playing the game, they already remembered things. They already knew, hey, biofuels gives you so many points. Okay, fossil fuels is so bad. You know, they knew you wanted domestic fuels versus foreign fuels because transporting costs and things like that. And so I was really surprised by how much they retained it and how much they were really interested in it. And I definitely thought it was something that uh, was a great experience for me to see and just understanding how much students really do want to learn the things that we have to offer.